Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're covering an unhealing corneal ulcer or scratched eye. A corneal ulcer that does not heal with care from the veterinarian can be considered an indolent ulcer. Indolent means it's an unhealing corneal ulcer. So when we think about it, when your doggy or a doggy is being treated by your veterinarian with antibiotic eye drops, and maybe an ointment to help lubricate the eye, the corneal epithelium, or the outer part of the eye, is growing across the stroma of the cornea. As it grows up cr across, it's going to find itself, and it's going to heal over the scratch. Once it does that, the eye is healed, it doesn't hurt anymore, and we can go back to being a normal eyeball for the doggy. So here's the deal. If it doesn't heal right, it's a corneal ulcer that is indolent or unhealing. So when the eye is healing, instead of growing up crossed and looking beautiful, it grows, but it maybe kind of goes up a little bit and it can't find itself over here. Or maybe it kind of just kind of elevates off of the eye of the stroma. So now we have a gap and it goes to heal and it's just totally missing. When those cases happen, it can be for a handful of reasons. But what we need to acknowledge is it's not just going to heal with eye drops. So we do more. The veterinarian can do a couple different things. One, they can definitely refer you off to see an eye specialist or an eye doctor for doggies. Eye doctors for doggies are becoming more common and they have a handful of instruments and knowledge that can help fix an eye that doesn't want to heal. In some cases, a veterinarian, like a general practitioner, like myself, may want to fix the eye as well. Both these options are fine because what we need to do is do something more than just the eye drops. What the veterinarian is going to do is they will numb the eye and they may even sedate the doggy too so everyone's relaxed and not moving. Once they do that, they're going to do a procedure called a grid keratotomy. Usually, with the eye being numb, so it doesn't hurt at all, they will gently wipe away, maybe with a Q-tip or some other instrument, any of the cornea, the epithelium that didn't heal, right? They just kind of wipe it away and remove everything that didn't want to heal. Basically, it's just not going to heal, so we don't want it on there. And then they will use a really, 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 really small instrument or needle and they will make a grid. I want you to think of it kind of like train tracks. So when it's growing across the heel and it's missing or it's growing upward, the problem is it doesn't have direction. So by making a grid across the eye, all that corneal epithelium can then grow across the grid and hopefully heal the way we want to heal. This may sound like we're starting from square one or square zero because we are. We're taking all that healing we had and removing it because it failed to heal completely. Once that procedure is done, of course, eye medications help lubricate the eye and eye antibiotics and maybe even meds for inflammation and pain or oral antibiotics will be prescribed too. Once the grid keratotomy is done and the eye is all prepped to start healing again, the veterinarian will probably put either a contact lens on the eye or they may even close the eye with the dog's third eyelid. The logic behind this, it helps to facilitate healing. We're trying to do everything possible to help that ulcer to finally heal. By doing the procedure, the grid keratotomy, by closing the eye with either uh, the third eyelid flap or with a contact lens, and finally, by continuing meds for the eye, doing all these things can help to fix a really challenging, unhealing corneal ulcer or scratch. Again, the best option for any ulcer that's not healing is to see an eye doctor or a veterinary eye specialist. They have the most skills, the most knowledge, and the most instruments to provide the best chance of improving and resolving the corneal ulcer. I hope this is really helpful, guys. If you guys have any experiences with indolent, unhealing corneal ulcers, please let me know. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe and check out some other videos. Take care, everyone.